Hello, welcome to the next video of the uh, electric uh, Sentra, uh, Nissan Sentra 2004 conversion to an electric vehicle. My name is Jose Barriga and um, I'm going to talk about several things on this uh, video, very exciting. The first one I want to talk to you about is my uh, charging station. Uh, this is my charging station and uh, I bought it from these guys, uh, Electric Motor Works. And it's one of these uh, projects for Kickstarter when they uh, allowed us to buy one of these chargers for like a hundred dollars and then I bought the J1772 uh, cable on eBay for about another eighty-five dollars. And the first thing I did with this uh, charging station is that I removed it. It was over there in, in near, next to the uh, main board. Uh, what I did is I, I changed it to this side because I think that this side is much better. I can charge a car on this side and I can charge the Sentra on that side. And I can even charge cars that I can park outside. So this makes much more sense to me. Um, anyway, this is the connection for the uh, charging station. I can still use my regular connection that I use on the Sentra, which is, uh, which is this one. And then I can um, just plug my J1772 on this uh, plug. And then um, I have pretty much uh, connection to uh, J1772 level 2. Um, it's pretty much just uh, connected. And it's charging. As you can see, as you can see, it just activated. This uh, there's a light here that will let me know when it's charging, and um, it's just it's just working fine. Now, while I was doing tests with my charging stations, this little guy here, this little circuit burn. This this little guy burn, and uh, these are like forty dollars, and I didn't want to buy another one. This is too expensive, so I built my own circuit, which is like this. Uh, my my own circuit is just like this, and it's pretty much a diode, a resistance, and a switch with another resistance to to put the resistance in parallel. Uh, the charging stations really work in. Um, Six states. The charging stations will recognize this as six states. State A pretty much is not connected. State B is the car is connected but not requesting power, which is uh, nine volts. Then we have the third state, which is six volts. Uh, state C, state C, which is the two uh, resistance in parallel connected with this switch, and is when the car is requesting power. And then we have other status like uh, ventilation required, no power, and error. Um, I don't handle this in my car as a conversion, so I just care about these three. And in all truth, I don't even care about this one because most charging stations that I have tried, if you have this switch on all the time, they will go and start charging. Apparently, many charging stations do not require you to, to go through step B or state B, they can go directly, if you if you have state C already, they'll start charging. Opposite to the, the, the belief that maybe some charging stations do require A, B, and C in, in that sequence, but I found that A to C is valid. And anyway, I have this switch in my little circuit. In case I find sometime one charging station that requires the three steps, I just have to flip the switch after I connect it. So um, I find it much more you know, cheaper, easier to just do my own little circuit to manage the pilot signal and it's working fine for me. Um, the second thing I want to show you is uh, I put some capacitors here for the power steering. Uh, I talked about this in the last video. The power steering was starting a little jerky and once I put this uh, series of capacitors in parallel they charge, they absorb part of the charge that is going to the power steering because they're parallel and they also provide a little bit of power to the power steering after I, I, it stopped getting power from the battery so that made the power steering much more smooth less jerky and it's just a great experience this is a little loose because I don't really have much space here to, to, to put it fixed I'll be able to um, 
put it the, you know, the, the right way once I remove the batteries and I'm going to talk about that in a little minute but I'll, I'll be able to soon fix it the, the, the right way in here now uh, this is the third thing I want to show is the tires I receive a little a lot of criticism when I uh, show my method for aligning the front tires and I got all kind of uh, comments saying that that's not the proper way to align it that, that I, I'm screwing up the car I want to show the tires I have not rotated these tires in several thousand miles the alignment is perfect it's not if you can see the tire it's not it's not wearing uneven it's not uh, having any problem I can show the other side as well the tires are I mean the alignment is perfect and that's just to show that my method of lining just works really fine um, what else um, it's time to it's time for me to upgrade my lead acid batteries to lithium I got the lithium batteries the, they are over there and I'm going to show you the batteries inside in a minute but something funny happened just when I got the batteries my odometer my odometer is uh, almost a hundred thousand miles so I'll be able to uh, I'll be able to really measure very well my usage with the lithiums because it's practically a hundred thousand miles uh, so that, it's just a coincidence that's when I want to do my upgrade to lithium other thing I'm changing is this guy if you remember this is a vacuum uh, tester and the problem is that this guy makes noise when there is low vacuum um, and, and it makes a lot of noise it's, it's very noisy Let me show you. So it's very noisy and I hate it so what I did is when the car has been stopped for a while the pressure in the vacuum canister decreases so much that uh, it will trigger that when I turn on the car after it's been stopped for a while um, that's not the way I, it, it was meant to warn me it was meant to warn me when I'm actively driving so what I'm doing is I got one of these cheap uh, timers for like five dollars in eBay and that timer just has a setting from one to ten seconds and I'm just going to put a delay delay timer in that indicator so it should not really uh, get power for the ten first seconds after I turn on the car that will let the vacuum pump accumulate some vacuum and then I won't get that noise uh, anymore unless it's real unless I'm driving uh, so that's an easy way to fix that that's what I'm going to do uh, then what is uh, oh okay I was talking about the batteries I'm going to have I'm going to finally uh, replace my lead acid batteries with uh, lithium um, because I'm getting about 10 miles per charge now and it's really not good enough except for local driving and I miss driving my car a little far um, let us it all know was not really worth it to me I, I think it's too much weight and very little usage um, I think it's better to build a smaller car with lithiums than a car with the, like this with uh, lead acid now I was lucky because EVTV.me where, where I bought these batteries were running a special these batteries are from uh, Israel uh, these are batteries from that company called Better Place, which went to bankrupt, uh, fight from bankruptcy, and they were just selling these batteries really cheap. And Jack Ricard from EVTV um, got a, a 72 packs of these batteries and sold them at very affordable price, prices. Uh, and I was lucky enough to get one of these because they flew. Uh, and this is how they look like. These are. Nissan Leaf uh, similar batteries or equal and there are 48 batteries in this uh, in this uh, package and this is just something that will came wrapping the batteries because it has air cooling over here so it has air cooling and it has a 
BMS, uh, which is over here. Uh, here it is. It has a BMS on this side. I'm not even sure I'd be able to use it because these are all in series and I'm going to put them in series in parallel. But anyway, 48 lithium manganese uh, cells. These are not lithium iron phosphate. These are lithium manganese batteries. And a little disadvantage for these batteries is that they have a little shorter life cycle compared to the lithium to the lithium iron phosphate. Um, but still, I should be able to get about five to six thousand cycles from these batteries. Uh, so I'm very excited about this upgrade. Um, what I'm going to do is remove the old batteries in the car, and I have 1,400 pounds of, 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 of uh, weight, lead acid weight, into this car. Um, and this weight 400 pounds. So once I install my lithium batteries, I lose 1,000 pounds in weight, which is a lot. And these have also a lot of uh, density. This has more. Um, this has more power density than lithium iron phosphate, which means um, I should be able to really put all my batteries in the back. Although the batteries are really going to fit in the back, that's what I'm planning. And uh, with that, I should be able to have the engine uh, compartment completely empty for maintenance. It should be so light that I shouldn't even really need to have my electric power steering. It should be light, in, light enough to be able, so I'll be able to drive without power steering because there's not going to be much weight in the front. I, I plan to put everything on the back. Uh, uh, something that I really uh, want to do is um, um, install a trailer hitch here in the back. Uh, there's a lot of times where I've needed to put a bicycle rack or, or a, maybe a, a, a one of these generators. And I think it would be a good idea now that I'm going to remove the uh, uh, batteries. I'm, I'm going to put a trailer hitch. I think it's a very good idea. Also, some of the what I want to do is move the controller. I've never really liked much what the controller is right now. Uh, this controller, I'm going to try to move it to this place and then I'll have all this empty space to be able to work on my car whenever it needs. Uh, maybe I'll have a frunk like the Tesla. Uh, I'm planning to probably have a box to store things in there. Nothing complicated, just a storage area like the jack or um, the, the, the uh, compressor, things like that. Um, what else? Um, I'm going to certainly going to need to change the uh, suspension again. I reinforce the suspension because of all this weight. Once I get the lithium batteries, I'm going to have to need to uh, uh, lower the car as well. Uh, again, I'm put it back like the way it was before the, the lead acid batteries. And well, uh, it's just an uh, exciting time for me. I want to start doing the conversion to lithium in the next week, week or so. Uh, I expect to have the car. Uh, in the, in the conversion to version 2.0 for about a month. So uh, that's it for this video. In the next video, hopefully I'll have a lot of progress on the replacement of the batteries. Thank you for watching. Bye.